I have a problem. Wait, hold on. I knocked my books down in the hall. Can you help me? Can you kill them? I mean, I really don't know what I can do for you. I understand. I understand. I just need this one time. Please. Please, Godfather. Supposedly, if I were to uh, have some of my people talk to some of these girls of yours, would you be open to uh, doing a service for me at some time, in which I cannot disclose right now, but will come to you when I need? Yes, yes, anything, Godfather, anything for you. Fredo, can I get a glass of water? <laughs> can I get a glass of water? My lips are chapping. Fredo, get the door. Let me get this done for good. Mother's been sick, as you know, and it was third period calculus, and I just I couldn't make it to class. So please, please, do you need water or anything? I no. can help you. And I just I didn't go to class, but uh, Fredo, get her some water anyway. Get her some water anyway. Go now. But uh, my calculus teacher was not as understanding as I would hoped about my family problems, and she is. She's uh, written me up for a cut. And with this new athletic director, one cut means I can't play in the state championship game this weekend, which I've been working for for the past four years against Lakeland. Fuck you! <laughs> <coughs> Douchebag! Alright, fuck off, you guys! And. Cut! <coughs> cut! Sorry, I just get a, little, get a little worked up. I need your help. Morgan, you know we're good friends, and I appreciate all the respect that you have for me. And because I know that you have a deep respect for me, I want to help you. I cannot say that I can just get rid of the cut just like that, but hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, if I can make it disappear, would you send your mother your best regards from me, myself, the Godfather? I would do that and a million things more. Morgan, I, I can't promise you anything, but I can see what I can do, and I can get back to you very fast. I really, really appreciate that, Godfather. And I need you to uh, do one more thing for me. What's that? After you score your first goal, I need you to give me the Godfather sign. Be my honor. I bet you're wondering what the Godfather sign is. I am a little bit. One of these. Can you do that for me? I will do that for you. Well, then I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow you walked into school and the cut was gone. I got shot in the foot. <laughs> Maggie, do you like art? I love art. Art's so great. This is a picture my great grandmother painted from Sicily once. Beautiful. Anyway, what's wrong with you? I got shot in the foot. What did you say? Well, um, my boyfriend broke up with me, so I, like, kissed his friend, and, like, I think he's mad. And, like, he's on the right rubber team, so, like, I think he shot me in the foot, and now I can't walk, and it's just, like, really rude that he would shoot me in the foot. Maggie, of course I want to help you with your foot. You don't even understand. It's my foot. Is it? Is it still attached? No, it's gone. It's gone. Well, Maggie, because they didn't kill you, and because he's still alive, I can't kill him. However, I would be willing to send some of my workers. This is uh, oh, do you? <laughs> I'd be willing to send Oduya. <laughs> walking with one foot for a week and you will know what I am going through my boy Maggie sadly 
Actually, because I have two feet, I don't know what you're going to. You know. I have ten toes and two feet. No. Um, I would be willing to have an exchange in which Fredo, Fredo, come on, would be willing to go and cut off your boyfriend's right foot. Please. In exchange to then have it surgically removed and put onto yours. So you can once again have two feet. I cannot ask for anything better. Well, Maggie, I do have to ask for one thing. Um, I'm going to need you. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to need you to. Uh... <laughs> I'll do. Uh, this one woman in my uh, one of my classes. I think her name is, uh... Morgan? Morgan. I'm and really good friends. Can you, uh, maybe introduce me to oh. Morgan? Of course. For the goodness that my name was Morgan on the last one. Okay, well, simmer down for you. <laughs> but just in case, I'm going to need you to introduce me to Morgan the next time we're together. You got it. You can sabotage me! What do you mean? she's prettier than me? Like, have you seen my hair? Oh, the flip. Like, I don't get it. And then, on the weekends, I drink so many beers. More beers than her. And she only has two, okay? She's a lightweight. Morgan, not Morgan. <laughs> I would like to start by saying that is some of the most luscious hair I've ever seen. <laughs> and as far as it goes, as long as you drink more beers, you're the real queen of my house. <laughs> so, what I would be willing to do for you, because I too once failed to become the homecoming king. Homecoming king. So, Fredo, I'm thinking what we should do is take a little trip to Brittany's house. That's her name, right? We go to Brittany's house and we give her a little haircut. What do you want, boss? <laughs> Keep it to the scissors. We're not trying to kill anybody. But it's not done. What? When you get to the podium after you win, because I know a few people and you will win, I'm going to need you to rumple a beer at the stage. Oh, anything. Based on your previous skills, it seems like you would know what you were doing. <laughs> if that is all, and you can do such, we will have a fun prom night. Oh, thank you. No problem. No, <laughs> Elaine. Elaine. Elaine.